today we're gonna do another how to this time it's gonna be a sci-fi help display so let's get into it I'm gonna start by going to the z-axis and deleting everything in the scene then I'm gonna go over and add in a plane so we're gonna go shift a then to plane then you can hit the tab key and then G hold down control and we're gonna move it like so you're gonna place it in the corner then tab key we're gonna go over to the modifiers add modifiers and we're gonna add it in a subdivision surface and turn the render down to one going to go and put it onto a symbol then we're going to go add in a mirror going to make sure that the merge is on and finally going to add in an array i'm going to put the array to six so we're going to make sure that the merge is ticked on lastly we're going to add in a deform a simple deform and we're going to go to z and we're going to change this to 360 and bend so it turns into like a circle now let's go and hit tab select these two edges g z sorry g y and move it upwards and then go over to here click loop cuts and then i don't know give it three loop cuts and then hit enter and then we want to separate all of these so go over to this icon face select and go onto this box select and then click it and then go by white white and white do it to all the ones you have so guys now we want to separate all of these into their individual pieces so we get more of a head up kind of display so select one of them and hit g y and then move it just a little bit then go shift and tap on the next one and go g y and just move it a bit more and then do exactly the same all the way through and there we go guys we've done the first stage of it so quickly let's go over make sure the blooms ticked on and we might as well just go over to the shading icon now once we're here we want to go to these which is like the hdris i think and just choose any really and add in a new material let's start by getting rid of this and we're going shift a add in a mix shader and plugging the shader into the surface and shift a again a mission and plugging this into the shader and we'll give it a strength of 10 and now we'll go shift a and we're going to add in a transparent now we're going to put this into the first shader and we're going to go add in a color ramp like so and put this here and while we're here we're just going to duplicate this and put the color into the color color into the factor and we're going to add in the Fournoy texture like so connect the distance to the factor i want to go control t if you don't have the node wrangler add-on add in a mapping node and a texture coordinate you'll still be able to do this so don't worry about that and we're going to change the uv to the vector right also while we're here we're going to change the linear to constant we're going to change the f1 to f2 and change this to whatever this word would be we're going to swap these two like so now you can see it's kind of giving a sci-fi kind of look and let's go change the scale to two now we're going to add in our transparency so you're going to hit n on the keyboard we're going to go over to the options we're going to go change the blend mode to alpha hash and we're going to change this to none we can also make as complicated or as simple designs as we want by using the mapping and we'll be using the uv as well and i'll get to that in just a second right guys so now what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap it by using cube projection so i'm going to go into the edit i'm going to select everything i'm going to go uv unwrap and then we're going to go cube projection i'm going to go to here and go uv editor see now when we move this it changes so have a play and see what you come up with so guys i've come up with this kind of design and now let's go over and add all these make sure you add them from the top down obviously it gets really messy so now let's go move the origin 
point which is the cursor to the center but first we need to change the origin point so we're going to go and select the origin to the center and then we're going to go shift s and we're going to go so we're going to go selected to cursor and now it is in the center so now guys let's go edit it so that we can rotate each of these rings separately so hit the tab hit p and then we want to separate by loose parts as you can see it's all been split up into its individual parts so this is one part this is one part this is one part and this is one part which is great this is what we wanted and now guys this is where this color ramp comes in so guys now we're gonna go and add in so shift a add a object info and plug the object info here we want to put the random into the factor now this is where it gets fun i think we're gonna add in a few of these and then we're gonna go over to adobe just type in like adobe hex color codes once you're there have a look around and i'm gonna use this one click on it and it'll automatically copy it go back over and this one i'm gonna go paste this in here like so and that's kind of giving us a blue this one i'm gonna go and keep doing it so i get all my colors also change this to constant and now you have more of a individual colors and as you move them up and down it will change them like so but i actually turned out that i don't like these so i'm gonna try and change that one in the middle so there we go guys so guys now let's just go and add split the screen sorry and we're gonna go add in a graph editor. So guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and animate the scale on the Y axis. And we're gonna go and insert a single keyframe. And as you see, it has appeared here. And now as you see, it's here. And we're gonna go over to the modifiers. And we're gonna go modify here. And we're gonna add in noise. And now when you see you play it, it kind of like just jumps around. And to calm this down we're going to turn the strength down to 0 0.15 and that's still kind of pulsing too hard so let's just scale it up to about 16 so now what we're going to do is up here I'll click this and it's going to copy it now we're going to go down to here and we're going to right click and we're going to go insert keyframe and you sit here make sure to select it and we're going to click this button and it's going to paste it and what we're going to do is we're going to go change the offset so now let's just go and add in a rotation to all of these and we're going to go over to here and we're going to go into the z axis we're going to click right click it and we're going to go i'm going to go insert a single keyframe and it's here and we're going to go over to the modifier z we're going to add in a noise as you can see it's spinning around crazily and now the way that we're going to calm this down is we're going to increase it by 50 and it's slowed right down and now we're just going to do the exact same process over again open everything up we're going to hit the copy select the next circle and then go to our rotation insert a single keyframe and go back up to here and the z add in a noise and we're going to paste and once again, we're gonna have to change the scale to 70, I'm gonna go with this time. We're gonna offset it just a little bit, like so. And guys, if you wanna add more, you just add more. If you wanna add less, you can add less, but this is where I'm gonna leave it, guys. So guys, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike button comment down below what kind of videos you want to see next and remember to turn your notifications on and subscribe peace